two days prior to Matt Walsh releasing this documentary, What is a Woman?, that Good Morning America decided to sit down and interview Leah Thomas. Leah Thomas is the transgender swimmer from the University of Pennsylvania, born a male, decided halfway through his collegiate swimming career, uh, where he was mediocre, not that good, I looked at his times, uh, that he would transition to a woman, and then obviously he won the NCAA championship in the women's category. And Good Morning America actually sat down with with Leah Thomas two days prior to Matt Walsh's documentary. And I don't know about you, and I don't, I, I don't know why this surprised me, but I was actually really surprised by what Leah Thomas's voice sounds like. Thomas began HRT, hormone replacement therapy, in May of her sophomore year, 2019. The mental and emotional changes actually happened very quickly. I was feeling a lot better mentally. I was, I was less depressed and I lost muscle mass. And I became a lot weaker and a lot, a lot slower in the water. After following NCAA guidelines of a year of hormone therapy to change gender categories, Thomas started her senior year on the women's team. But her success in the water was met with outrage leading up to the NCAA championships. Her critics say she jumped in the rankings between the men's and the women's team. And there are some who look at the data and suggest that you're enjoying a competitive advantage. What do you say to that? There's a lot of factors that go into a race and how, how well you do. And the biggest change for me is that I'm happy. And sophomore year, um, where I had my best times competing with the men, I was miserable. And so having that be lifted is incredibly relieving and allows me to put my all into training, into racing. Trans people don't transition for athletics. We transition to be happy and authentic and our true selves. Transitioning to get an advantage is not something that ever factors into our decisions. You didn't transition to win more medals? No. Thomas quickly became a lightning rod. Why did I think that Leah Thomas's voice would, would be more feminine? I have no idea why I thought that, but I was actually surprised when this, this transgender sat down and had a man voice. I shouldn't be because, I mean, well, we all know Leah Thomas. Uh, we, Leah Thomas is a man. Um, so the the answer to the question, though, does this give you a competitive advantage? It was a good question. It was respectfully it was respectfully asked. There was no follow up or no material follow up, no substantive follow up. But the question itself was was a good question. But the answer, do you have a competitive advantage? The answer was, I'm happy. Okay, what? What? That wasn't what the question was. The question was, do you have a competitive advantage? It wasn't, why did you transition? It wasn't, how do you feel? It was, do you have a competitive advantage? And Leah Thomas did not answer the question. Leah Thomas just said, I am happy, which I don't want to get too tangential here, but this is also a problem in our culture when we define happiness as simply gratification. Um, that is not the definition of happiness. Gratification is not ha- is, is not happiness. But Leah Thomas, I mean, you saw you saw the video. I saw the video. Leah Thomas has all the hallmarks of someone who has been brainwashed. In fact, as 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 angry as I feel that this individual and all of these supporting structures, meaning the coach and the administration at the University of Pennsylvania and the NCAA and the media and woke activists everywhere, it is angry as I am that they are destroying women's sports, especially swimming, which I love. Um, my mama heart hurts a little bit for Thomas because it's so obvious that that Thomas was manipulated. I have no idea how long Thomas had been experiencing gender dysphoria. I have no I I I can't imagine what a nightmare that is to experience that. It's it's horrible. It's horrific. But the fact that when when you experience gender dysphoria, the response from ev- adults in the room should be okay, we hear what you're saying and let us get you the psychological help that you need so that you don't feel this way. It shouldn't be a manipulation where where you're convinced that you need to surgically, hormonally, chemically not castrate yourself and then transition to I mean transition in quotation marks of course to a different gender and it hurts my heart that Thomas was so manipulated. Uh, that's no excuse of course for for what all the other people, all the adults at the school, at the, uh, at, in the coaching staff, what everyone did and how the left is now using Leah Thomas as, as their champion. No excuse, but it does, it is sad to see someone brainwash like this. It's also though, psychological abuse of the women on that team. And this is where we get into Matt Walsh's documentary because he actually 
interviewed a teammate of Leah Thomas who said, listen, Leah Thomas helps us win if you're just looking at the scoreboard, but but it's, it's tainted. These wins are tainted. It's not as much fun to win when it's cheating. And she talked about how, you know, they, as, as Leah's teammates, are not allowed to voice their opposition. They're not allowed to talk about being uncomfortable in a locker room with a biological male with male genitalia. And when they when they do speak up, they they have the coaching staff brings in either someone from the LGBTQ center um, or someone from the psych team. And make no mistake, this is psychological abuse of actual women, psychological abuse of women who complained to to tell them if you're not comfortable with this, the fact that you feel uncomfortable is wrong. So let us let us let us twist your reality in a way that either just silences you or makes you feel bad about yourself for how you're feeling to the point that you pretend that you feel okay with it, make you quote unquote comfortable with it. This is psychological abuse of actual women. And this is what the left does. This, this, is, this is one of the patterns of the transgender ideology. It harms children. It harms little girls. It harms little boys. And it harms women. It helps no one.